Hey guys, Sari Torres here for the Pixel Slayers. Uh, today I am reviewing Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, this came out for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Today I'll be reviewing the Xbox One version. And i uh, got a lot to say about it, so uh, just stay tuned. Mirror's Edge Catalyst was released in June 2016 for the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. It was developed by EA Dice, which uh, EA, I feel like they're going to come up again. I don't know. This is a first-person platformer where you follow Faith Connors, a rogue messenger of sorts called a runner, in a futuristic society where technology and overbearing corporations reign supreme. This is a prequel to the original Mirror's Edge released in 2008, which I should mention I have not played at the time of this video. The first person gameplay is similar to what I've seen in the original. I've heard of these games called those parkour games and it's not hard to see why. You'll jump, climb, roll, and all sorts of acrobatic feats to get around the city often as quickly as you can. I swear, sometimes I was getting the feeling that I really was traversing through this futuristic city. The adrenaline rush during these scenes, especially like the, the times where you're hanging off of a helicopter, uh, the adrenaline rush like really gets to you and it really just immerses you within the game. I had some problems with the fighting mechanics, which just didn't flow for me and it felt too easy at times. However, this was a minor problem for me and it didn't detract from the fun of the real part of the game, which is the parkouring and all that. Unlike the first game, this one takes place in an open world sandbox type setting. There are tons of side missions, including these like messenger missions. Um, and I didn't really care for these as much. I found myself going more towards the story part of the game. The messenger games, like they give you a super strict time limit. You have to be perfect. And it was just, it just made me rage quit, quit too many times. And the, your clients always get really mad at you for being like a second late. And I would find myself aborting the mission if I knew I was gonna fail just so they wouldn't yell at me. Do you have any idea how important those oysters were? I bet you don't. The graphics look fantastic most of the time. Cutscene conversations between characters portray their facial expressions beautifully. The city around you looks amazing, and I was often in awe of the designs as they flew by me. But sometimes there would be these weird issues with reflections, and like, what's happening here? And more importantly, what the heck is this? This might be a good time to mention that this game has some problems. There were times where the game's design got in the way of the fun. It seemed like I was jumping in the right spot. Ugh. Given that this is by EA and considering all the delays it went through, I can't help but feel that this game was given the Mass Effect Andromeda treatment. Um, I know that's kind of weird to say since this was released before Mass Effect Andromeda, but I think this is sort of a lesser version of what happened to that game. Rush development and mismanagement um, can cause a great game to feel unfinished and uh, just riddled with problems. Granted, Mirror's Edge Catalyst does not have nearly as many problems as Andromeda, but it still prevents this game from being a 9 or a 10 in my book. All right, I'm there. Connecting to a priority switch now. And it's a shame because this game really is a lot of fun and I really loved it most of the time. But these problems were just really big problems and, and it doesn't push it down to the same amount that Mass Effect Andromeda does, but they're still pretty bad. However, I do have to say all in all, I enjoyed Mirror's Edge Catalyst more than I didn't enjoy it. The gameplay drew me into Faith's frantic acrobatic life, and for the most part, the graphics drew me into the sleek futuristic world. But this game does have more problems than I would like, and it really prevents it from living up to its full potential. However, I've heard that these problems aren't so bad in the first one, um, and which I, again, haven't played yet, 
And I'm really excited to relive this experience through the original, maybe in a, a bit better way than I experienced them here. So a bit of a mixed bag of feelings about Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but in the end I had fun with it and uh, I look forward to trying out that first game as well and um, whatever other games they throw at us in the future. So uh, we are the Pixel Slayers. I'm Sari Torres. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more. Uh, put it in the comments if you've played this game or the original and uh, give me a little give me a little tidbit of how you feel about this game and what you think. And uh, we make lots of videos here and I hope to see you back soon and I'll see you later. Bye.